All right, so as you can see, I have cut the prongs. They are no longer connected. Um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to flip it over. Um, I actually, I do recommend doing the bottom side. Um, because if you, if you do the top side, this black piece will no longer be here. Um, you kind of need that because as if you look right here, let me get a better angle. Right there. Hold on. See that little thing? It's it's a clip. You got to kind of cut that and bend it in. It holds this bottom one in. Um, if you were to take the top apart, this would no longer be here, and this would just free float. So do the bottom. Um, it doesn't matter really. I mean, it's not going to affect it if you you know. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't help you in any way if you did the top. So just just do the bottom. Don't be fucking stupid. Do the bottom. So next you're going to want to flip it over, you know, top side. Bend those little prongs in on both sides there. Um, yeah. And after that we'll go ahead and pull it up. So I'm just going to set the camera down really quick. Bend those in and pull this off of here. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I've got it cut. Um, you are going to have to give it a little bit of a pull. Uh, if you look at the prongs there, see them right here, kind of hanging out. They are kind of, you know, embedded in there. Um, not really embedded, but they've got little lips over them holding, holding them in on the plastic. So you're going to have to give it a yank, but uh, I mean, what are you going to break? You've already, you've already technically broken this, so what you're going to do next is... Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Hold on one second. Oh, you're going to be a pain in the ass, aren't you? All right. Okay, as you can see, we've got that off of there. And uh, this would be the bottom. Now, I will post in the, in the video a picture exactly of where the wires are supposed to go. Um, take a good look at your controller. That way, you kind of know, you know, which what you're looking at. Um, your little prongs are right back here by these resistors. See them going in there, all five of them. Now, when you wire it, you're gonna have to use specific wires. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember what they are inside the USB. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut it open and figure it out. Uh, I know there is one, I believe, that you don't use. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. We'll get this bitch rolling. So as you can see, I went ahead and stripped down my USB. Um, my first one, it, the first one I did, it didn't have this, uh, this black coating around the inside of here. Um, it was just all bare metal. I'm actually liking this a lot more. Um, guessing it's something to do with the way they make them now. Anyways, what you're going to want to do now is either um, some electric tape or some masking tape. Um, do not use duct tape. Do not use scotch tape. Electric tape or masking tape. Or don't do it at all because it's going to be pointless. You're going to end up causing more problems than solving. So anyways, and my cat is chasing a fly. Kitty. Anyways, so um, you got four wires coming out of here. Uh, red, green, black, and white. 
Some of you might have five. Um, the fifth wire is usually it's just ground to the actual metal casing here of the USB. Um, you don't need it. You can just go ahead and cut it off. Um, you, you are going to want to cut this shorter though. I simply uh, left it this long just um, just because. I mean, once you get it kind of snug in there, you can go ahead and uh, cut the wire so that it, it just kind of fits in perfect, you know. So the next step, see you're look okay. So you're looking at this. You see one side is fatter, one side is skinnier. You're gonna want to keep this piece just until you're done modding it, um, just for the reference of where you're gonna solder these wires into the motherboard of your controller. Um, it sounds a lot harder than it actually is. It's it's pretty easy. Um, just make sure you don't use too much solder and get the connection stuck together. Blah 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 blah. Anyways, the hell are you doing, cat? Alright, so anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and set this down on here. Alright, so the three prong is going to be, when you're looking at it on the bottom, it's going to be on the left side, alright? So that would be, alright, so this far hole over here is going to be your red, the next one is going to be your white, the next one's going to be your green, and then you're going to skip a hole. So we're going to try and get in here. You see where, well, let me focus it a little bit. Alright, so you can kind of see where these prongs go into the board at. There's five of them. You're only going to use four. You flip it over. You unsolder that first, those first set right there. Uh, the, the two in between where I took those two screws out. You're going to put your solder gun onto the bottom of there. You're going to want to try to prop this up either with like a piece of wood or something kind of sideways. That way you can have your soldering gun on this end melting the solder. And a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers to be exact, on this side pulling out the prongs. Um, so yeah, and again it, it goes red wire and then your white wire. Green wire. Let me rephrase that. Red wire, white wire. Green wire is in the middle. The next one you don't use. That's your video sync. And um, you're not going to need that um, as, you know, I mean, you've got the USB data already. You know, that's what the USB is for. It's all data connections, blah, blah, blah. Then the last one's going to be your black. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get the solder connections going. And then, don't worry, in the video I will post a picture showing exactly where the wires go, color-coded and everything, because I know that videos can be a little tricky, and I know that a lot of people don't want to go back and, and watch, like, you know, 15 seconds of this video over and over and over so they can see what goes where. So I will have a picture in there, color-coded, like I said. Um, and then, yeah, but what you're going to want to do with this end of your USB, you're going to want to wrap... A good amount of um, of masking tape or electric tape around it. I prefer electric tape because it, it kind of slides and, and, and shapes into form better. Because what you're going to be doing, let me see if I can uh, get this here. What you're going to be doing, see this? This is your uh, memory card holder, your slot dealies. You're going to be putting this, and I recommend if yours looks like this, you wrap it all the way up to here because you're going to be using hot glue to kind of hold it in place better. Um, I didn't, and I, I regret doing it on my other controller, on the ac the one I actually kept for my modded system because it kind of moves a little bit. But after modding, I don't really use the USB too much. I, I FTP everything with an Ethernet cable, you know. So anyways, but you're going to want to put electric tape around this. And you're going to want to gradually do it, you know, put some on there, stick it in the hole, see if it fits nice and snug. Because, I mean, yeah, your other side, you know, it's going to be right there. It's going to move a lot. Um, you're going to want to use some, use some hot glue and uh, kind of secure it in there. purpose of the electric tape is to kind of hold it in place to when you go to put your hot glue on, it's going to stick. And then the tape, it, it also, it, it makes it so the glue doesn't get inside of here and 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 mess anything up because that's the last thing we want is taking all this time to do this and then just getting it all messed up because we didn't do it right so tape it glue it done 
All right, I'm going to stop this video. It's going to be a little bit. I'm get my tools ready, go downstairs to the soldering station, and uh, we will have a modded controller tonight. Okay, so we've got the finished product here. Um, as you can see, red, white, green, and then you skip a hole, and then black. That is going when you're looking at the bottom, going from the left to the right. Red, white, green. Hold on, my hand's getting a little shaky here. Red, white, green, skip a hole, black. You've got your, uh, then you've got your USB hooked up. As you can see, I've already started taping mine. Um, it tapes pretty good. It fits. Um, if you look really close, you can kind of see a little bump there. That's where, that's how far it stuck through the, uh, the memory card holder here. And, um, yeah, so now all you have to do, you put it back together. You get that bad boy in the hole first, actually, uh, before you put it back together. And then you get it kind of set in place, and then you put some hot glue down the sides of it. Make sure you don't get any inside of the USB port itself, or uh, you're going to spend a long time getting glue off of there. I mean, it's only five connections, but you'd be surprised how well glue sticks to uh, the copper prongs in there. <laughs> so... With that being said, put it in the hole, glue it. First, you got to tape it. I mean, obviously, I just said that a minute ago, but for those of you who weren't, who weren't listening, tape it, like I said before, masking tape or electric tape. As you can see, I went with electric tape because, well, I mean, electronics, electric tape. Masking tape works, too, if you need to improvise, but, hell, I picked that up for a dollar at Walmart. Actually, I think that might be a $2 roll from Advanced Auto, but still, dollar at Walmart, $2 at Advanced Auto. Anybody can afford that. $2 for the USB port and, of course, uh, the controller itself. Don't know if I explained it or not before, but the whole purpose of doing this is so um, you can actually copy a mod file straight through a uh, USB device and then you can boot it up through your memory section in your original Xbox <coughs> and uh, you can do anything from there there's this uh, there's this thing called Xbox Media Center you would think it'd be available to um, to regular Xboxes Xbox 360s nope it's only for modded systems I don't believe Microsoft developed it um, they might have, I don't see them doing so as, I mean, it's a modded system. They don't want you to mod your systems, but, <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, once you mod, once you have your system modded, it'll get stored on your hard drive, the 8 or 10 gigabyte hard drive inside of your, um, inside of your Xbox 360. Um, you can download this program after you've modded it and burn it to a disc because after, uh, after you mod your Xbox, you will be able to play burned games, burned CDs, you name it, it'll play it, besides Blu-rays, obviously, because you got to have a different laser, but still. Um, you can download this program, it's called L Parts X, um, Chimp Cloner, whatever you want to call it. It can clone your hard drive. Every hard drive is matched to an Xbox motherboard. You can't just swap them out and magically have it work. That's not how they made it. Um, I'll get more into explaining that later, but I mean, you can put in a bigger hard drive. I currently have a 250 gigabyte hard drive in my original Xbox, and I've probably got, uh, I don't even know how many games. I've got every single Sega game, every single Nintendo game, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, PlayStation 1, Atari, um, Cole Vision, everything. Every game, every old school game ever on my original Xbox. That is the best part about keeping your original Xbox is modding it. Modding it with Unleash X or Evo, or Evo, whatever you want to call it, Evo, Evo Evolution, and Avalanche. I mean, you've got some pretty sick programs. 
I will get into detail with that in a different video, but for now I'm going to end this one because we are done. Um, we just got to put our controllers back together. Obviously I'm not going to continue the video doing that because that is pretty self-explanatory. I honestly shouldn't have even had to show you people how to take it apart, but for those of you who don't know how, there you have it. Peace out, and uh, subscribe, homies, subscribe.